you know what, dude? Hey, come here. Let me pick your nose. There you go. Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy of an Old Guy Gaming. And in this episode, we are going to work on the Horde base, uh, do some more upgrading on it. Um, also, you guys told me in the comments, uh, or uh, asked me in the comments, I guess, why when I was hitting those um, titanium nodes out in the wasteland, why I wasn't digging down. I guess it never really occurred to me that there would be titanium ore underneath them like, you know, there is with the other ores. So... I want to test that theory because if there is, then it would make it worthwhile once again to get titanium that way rather than, uh, or, you know, not not that the other way, digging underground isn't a good way to do it, but it would just make the surface titanium a little more uh, viable to get in quantity. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's kind of the plan for today. And so let's see, it is nighttime as you can see, but what we want to do is we want to get some more titanium um, smelting here so we have a total of 346 and um, how much scrap do we have titanium scrap I know I made some okay we have 54 scrap titanium and I think we get five per so why don't we do this why don't we um I want to scrap all of that Maybe we'll scrap the 46. And that leaves 300 there. Okay, so that'll give us 230 scrap. Okay, and then the rest of this will turn into 150 more titanium ingots, which we will then use to upgrade uh, on our base. Okay, so we need 3 minutes and 41 seconds for that. Let's get that rolling there. And uh, let's see, what else do we want to do here? How much research data do I currently have? Because I want to actually make a lockpick schematic so we can learn it and, you know, and start uh, making notes. Uh, okay, so we, yeah, we're, we're pretty, pretty low on that. So we're going to have to find some more research data. It looks like we have plenty of books to do that, though. Okay, that's good. Not a problem at all. What do we got in the food thingy going? Uh, okay, we made a bunch of water so that we could then, in turn, make a bunch of sham chowder. Okay, so let's get that going here. Sham chowder is here. This is really good stuff. Uh, 13. Let's make 13. We're going to need 4 minutes and 19 seconds of burn time. That'll cover that. Good. All right. Fantastic. So this we're going to have to convert into plating when the time comes. Uh, how are we doing on concrete blocks? We only have 19 concrete blocks, but we have 390 concrete. Oh, yeah. We wanted to try this barrier out, too. So if we go into the shape menu... What's what's the difference? I don't I don't see a difference. All right, so there's that one. That one. They all look the same to me. <laughs> I don't see a difference between any any of the three types. Uh, that's one, two, and three. But what's, uh, don't see any difference. Do you guys see a difference? It looks exactly the same. All right, I'm, I don't get it. I don't get it. Let me know what I'm doing wrong, if anything at all. Uh, it, it does indicate that there are different shapes, but they all look this, the three shapes look exactly the same to me, so... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let me know what the deal's with that, yo. Because uh, that's confusing to me. All right, let's see. What do we have? Uh, can we make more cement? We have 20 more right there. Uh, so it's cement itself that we're, that we're low on. And we could make cement. Uh, we need stone powder for that, right? Okay. 
Let's turn all that into stone powder and we'll turn all that into stone powder. Anything going on in here? Uh-uh. Uh, we could make bone powder. 1,358. How many... Wait, hold on. How many do we get per? Is it a one-to-one? -one? Whoops. Craft. Yeah, it's a one-to-one. It's -one. Okay. I don't think I want to burn all my bones. Well, what is the bone powder used for? I guess that's really what we should be asking, right? Recipes. Uh, we need it for glue. Okay, that's important. And we need it to make a can of sham. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh, let's make 200. There we go. Okay. It's a done deal, man. Okay, good. So we have a total of 284 scrap titanium. That should hold us over for a while. How are we doing on the ingots? 150 ingots there. Turn that off. Um, do we turn... I think we have to turn these into plates to upgrade the base. So let's just turn all of those into plates. What do we make out of these? Rebar and... Okay. What is rebar used for? Titanium rebar in particular. Let's make one so we can figure that out. Recipe. Oh, okay. So it's used to make the tools. And we can actually make a titanium club, a titanium machete, a titanium pick, a titanium railing. But we can't make any of this stuff. One of you guys were telling me in the comments that, oh, okay, that's what we need for the Valkyrie drill, too. Interesting. Spear, a sledge. Ooh. Um, okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold the fort. All right, so the titanium sledge. That's going to be this. What does that require? Okay, we would need 600 research data and 100, uh, and 30 plates. But it's nice to know that we don't actually need a titanium sledge first. And what about the axe? The axe... Uh, wait. Where the heck is it? Oh, here it is, right here. Okay. So that requires 20 and 600 research data. Okay. I think we can make the pick, though, right? Yeah, I think we already know the pick recipe. So that would requ we're require only three rebar. But it's going to be a really crap level pick, though, is the thing. So is an H-level titanium pick going to be better than a B-level steel pick? If you guys know the answer to that, I would like to know. I think for now, though, uh, we're just going to turn all this titanium into plates because that's what we really need to get the, the horde base upgraded. Okay, so that'll give us some um, 60, uh, 75 plates. Okay, cool. Um, now, I want to take and turn some, but not maybe all of this concrete into blocks. So we can make a total of 82. Let's make, say, 60 blocks. I don't want to burn up all of the concrete mix. We might have some back at the other base, but I don't remember if we do or not. Oh, we already have 26 titanium rebars anyways. Okay, well, that's good to know when the time comes, you know, to, to use that sort of thing. Uh, we have 595 stone powder right here. What, what's the holdup on the... Oh, no, we need to make the cement in here, right? Yeah, okay, so cement requires all of that. We can make 148 cement, um, but that's going to burn up all of our stone powder. But we do have some worm being, being made, but let's just do 100. Okay. I don't know. Let's see. That's going to require three minutes of burn time. 355. Um, what? No, 453. There. Okay. That that fixes that. That gets that going, man. Okay, cool. How are we doing on our on on our these? We got them. Okay, let's do this. Let's put um, 
Well, actually, which one of these is better? Okay, so Sham gives us more health, but less water and food. But quite a bit more health, like a bunch more health. Yeah, let's let's put the let's put the hobo in there and carry the sham around for a while. All right, phantasmagorical. You're making the cement. You're making the plates. You're almost done with the plates. We'll run over and do some more upgrading while it's still nighttime. And then when the daytime rolls around, I want to go back out and find another titanium node in the wasteland and then dig down and see if we actually get more. Because I, I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know, right? Uh, let's put these on so we can see at nighttime. How do I do that again? Yeah, there we go. We don't really need it in here per se, but when we get outside it might be handy. That's got three and a half more minutes. You are done. Okay, so we got those titanium plates. Um, let's see. I think we have everything else over at the horde base. Um, we're we're gonna look into dark traps because one of you guys suggested that in the comments. Do I have a dark trap? If I did. It wouldn't be in any of those. It might be... This is kind of like my miscellaneous bin. We have a soda fountain. We could use that for Horde Night. <laughs> I mean, we're going to get thirsty, right? Oh, I know what we were going to do. We were going to put that other... We are going to put a turret up over in the corner to help with the, um, the buzzards. Right. Okay, so the turret's going to be probably in the weapons chest. I should have a couple of junk turrets. I do. I do. Okay, let's grab this junk turret. What does it require for repairing? Just two steel. Okay, let's repair that up. But we are going to also need to make some junk turret ammo, which I guess we'll probably do in the ballistics table. Maybe? Where is the ballistics table? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Gazoon tight. Squeeze me. Okay, junk turret ammo. Oh, robotic turret ammo. Imp. Oh, really? Empty ca Oh, crap. We just, we just... Hold on. Oh, we just burned up all of our stone. Really? Okay, we're going to have to go get some stone. What's this? Robotic turret shells. Oh, okay, so that's like shotgun shells. Well, actually, we could make those. I got lots of resources for those. Does this work, though, in a normal robotic turret, or does it have to be like a shotgun turret? Probably. That's, um, how many do we get per? Does it say? Is it just a one-to-one? -one? Yep, it's a one-to-one. -one. Okay. Let's make five and see if we can load up the turret. I don't, I'd rather have shotgun anyway, you know, for buzzards. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, what's this? Turret ammo... Armor piercing turret ammo and all right, nice. I like it. I like it. Okay, how much does this thing hold? This thing holds magazine 141, and we put five in there. Um, so let's make 136, and that'll completely fill this guy up. That's funny that it uses cans. Kind of makes sense, I suppose. It's kind of like the shell, I guess. Weird, man. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we'll make that uh, for the turret, and we'll put that down, and that'll help us with buzzards. And so the idea is, if you didn't see that episode, or a few episodes back where I was explaining that, you basically put this in a corner far enough away to, to where it's out of range of the sledge turret, and then the sledge turret deactivates, this one activates, and helps us with buzzard control. So it's a really, really good idea. So again, thank you to the individual that left me that comment. Let's repair all of this stuff whilst we're here. It takes a titanium plate. This should all just be steel. Six steel for that. Two steel for that. And one steel for that. Very good. Our, M our, our armor, rather, should be in pretty good shape. Oh, yeah. We re I think we repaired that the last time around. We don't have any perk points to spend right at the moment, so we're good on that. Okay. Let's turn this off. 
And we already got everything out of there, right? So we'll just make some more concrete with this. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, I think we left some materials over at the Horde base. So let's just run over there and see what's what. And then, like, uh, wait, wait, we, we have, we have the Valkyrie. I'm pretty sure I have some gasoline in the motorcycle. Yeah, okay. But the motorcycle is fully fueled up. Okay, good enough. I don't really want to go out in the wasteland at night. I mean, you know, we could, but... <laughs> but you could also jump off a cliff if you really wanted to, right? Uh, yeah, let's wait till morning before we wander out into the wasteland. It's slightly dangerous. Just saying. Just saying. Okay. Alright, let's come on up here. If we do have stuff stored, I think it's going to be in this chest up here. My senses have picked up something. What the hell just happened? What just happened? Right in the nuts. That hurt, didn't it? That's the first time I've ever seen that happen. It, like, teleported me through the wall. How bizarre is that? Oh, man, we got a laceration. Uh, and guess what I don't have on me? A sewing kit. Okay, yeah, so we do have some things in here for upgrading. But what we want to do is let's get our nail gun here. Uh, well, and this too. Okay, we're going to put you just in this corner here. What? Oh, no. How do wait, how do you rotate these guys? It uh cuz if I push the the left mouse button, it fires it. I don't know. Whoops. <laughs> Let's try that again. Guess we'll just do it that way. Okay, so the the plan is we're over here, our junk our our, our sledge turret rather is active. It's thumping zombies. A buzzard comes in. We run away from the sledge turret, we activate this turret, and then this thing helps us with the buzzards. I love it! That's a really good idea. Okay, so, um, let's go ahead and continue upgrading the most critical blocks. That uses five plates per. Um, so I would say that's critical, that's critical. Stuff we just absolutely don't want to get destroyed during the horde night. Um, probably that one too. Okay, what else? I think we had some ladders down here that we hadn't upgraded all the way to titanium. Yeah, this one here. Are these titanium? Yes, they are. Okay. Some of these up here are still steel. I, I really just wanted the bottom three and like the top four or five upgraded to titanium. I haven't really seen the Zombos do damage to these blocks here. So I think we're going to leave those as they are. All right. So uh, can these be upgraded to titanium? No, they can't. Okay. So those have to stay steel. All right, so let's see. What's going to be the next most crucial block that we don't want destroyed? One of you guys asked me in the comments, is this going to be destroyed by demolishers? Quite possibly. If it is, it is. <laughs> we can, well, we'll just have to replace it. Um, well, I okay, so... Probably, I'm thinking this block here should be titanium okay and then after that we just how many how many more pieces do I have I got 45 okay so we can do uh, five goes into 45 nine times so we can do nine more blocks so let's just keep hitting the ones in the cage here Roberta we're not going to upgrade you to titanium but you can come over here and get the heck out of the way, please. 
Where are you? Wait, where'd she go? Oh, she's right there. Okay. Um, okay, so we got those upgraded. Mm, th this really doesn't take any direct damage. Now, it could, you know, certainly could take demolisher damage, but... Uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I don't necessarily want to upgrade this to titanium. I, I mean, maybe we will eventually, but we don't have enough of it yet, you know, to be to doing that. So I'm thinking, yeah, let's go back here. Anything that's potentially going to take a direct hit from the Zeeks, we should be upgrading to titanium. Maybe we'll even go down a block there and hit that one and that one. And I guess that's it. I guess we did the other nine that we needed to do. But that's okay. That's good. I, I like this. Now, these corner blocks here, I don't think they can take a direct hit. I mean, unless the Zombos can clip through and hit them. But, you know, we might, hopefully we'll have some more titanium before the Horde Knight actually starts and we can hit those too. But I think what we should do from this point forward now is just get this whole entire cage titanium and maybe go down uh, a little bit more, you know, hit keep going down on these blocks these ladders are should be titanium all the way down to well it, you can't really tell because it uses the same exact textures of steel but i think you know i know i went down a few blocks anyways and uh i think we're in pretty good shape you guys with the electric fences and this being upgraded to titanium the most critical stuff i think we're going to kick some ass and take some names on horde night um hopefully i don't have to eat those words so, yeah, this is going to be good. Now, I'm still a little bit concerned that that this stuff is not um, fully protected. But honestly, really about the only thing that could hit this is if I'm standing here and a buzzard comes, you know, a boss buzzard comes and spits. So I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. But if, I, if it turns out that it is, you know, taking significant damage, then we'll have to do something about protecting those a little bit more but i think we'll be okay uh for now so yeah that's that looks good man i'm happy with that i am happy with that i think we're ready for the horde night uh when it comes okay let's go back to the base and get our laceration fixed and then we're going to go back out into the wasteland and we're going to find another titanium node and we're going to dig down underneath it to see if there is indeed more titanium because if there is that would be fantastic if there isn't well it was a good comment and worth checking. It just, like I said, it never really occurred to me that the titanium nodes would work the same as the other ones, where if you dig underneath it, there's more. And I hope that there is. And then after that, we'll just kind of see where our time is. We haven't done a POI for a while, so we might, if we if we have time, we might uh, go do another POI uh, at the towards the end of the episode here. I don't have anything there, do I? Nope. Okay, let's go up and get a sewing kit to fix this laceration. And then we'll we'll strike out. Uh, I don't I don't know. It depends upon <laughs> strike out. It depends upon the meaning of that. It kind of sounds like, you know, we didn't do so good in the baseball game, but that's not what I meant. It also means you're heading out, man. You're going out on an adventure. That's the way I meant it. There's nothing in there. Sewing kits are probably going to be in here. Uh, yeah, right here. Okay. Oh, uh, you know what else we don't have? We don't have any more honey, I don't think. If we did, it would be in here. We have two honey comb. Crap. We might need to go hit some stumps up, you guys. Uh, I have one herbal antibiotic. Okay, so we, we're not, like, completely out of antibiotics. We're almost completely out of antibiotics. Yeah. All right. Anything else we need out of here today? Let's grab a rock busters in case we do get into an underground node. And while I'm up here, I'd like to take another can of gas, too, just in case we really, you know, get into it. What do you need for a repair? One scrap. Okay, so our Valkyrie is completely repaired. Uh, ammunition. 
762. Do we have any more 762s? Really? We're out of 762s? Oh, no. We have a full stack right there. Okay, let's bring a full stack. We're pretty good on the rest of the ammo, I think. So, yeah, we're good to go there. And, um, very cool. All right, let's head back out and test that theory about titanium underneath the nodes. Because I really want to know. Inquiring old guys want to know. You know what? We need to repair our motorcycle pretty soon, too. It's getting down there. And we did learn the schematic for the motorcycle repair kit, which is what is required. All right, we went that direction last time. So let's go south this time. And see what we can find. See what kind of shenanigans we can get ourselves into. It's not that hard to do. Because first of all, I'm good at getting myself into shenanigans. And second of all, we're in the wasteland. We did actually go that way, didn't we? Oh, shit. At least when we started. Okay, so let's kind of go along the base of this mountain here. Woohoo! And look for a titanium node. There's a snake. Buzzards, of course. It's a little bit uh, stuttery out here, so what else is new, right? There's a shotgun Messiah store. All right, we might, we might do that. Let's just keep that in mind. But right now, our focus needs to be on a titanium node. Man, stuttering's giving me a freaking headache, man. It's okay if I look this way, but as soon as I look towards the city, that's where it really starts to cause some problems. Cause some problems for me old eyes. There's one. got a big mama over there oh crap there's a bear right there my senses have picked up something got what's this a snake yeah we got a snake okay uh we need to be mindful of that bear over there and let's deal with big mama now because she will almost certainly come after us as soon as we start the drill. She did. Can we take that bear out too? Uh, I got an abrasion. Damn it, Jim! Let's put this down here. Everybody loaded? You're not. Some more dude's attention. Oh man, we just grazed him. Wait, is he dead? <laughs> what the hell? Does do their do their eyes always pop out like that? When they're what? Why have I never noticed that before? That's disgusting. Guy needs to go see the dentist, man. <laughs> As if, that, if that's the least of his worries, right? Really? I've never noticed that before, that their eyes bug out like that. That is a trip. That is totally trippy. Here, let's harvest this guy before he disappears. And we got G.I. Joe over there. Yeah, how about, how about if we reload? It's 
this is weird. Okay, so I'm lagging like crazy. But if I look in the scope, it's not as bad because it's not trying to render all that all those graphics, I, I'm assuming. Where'd G.I. Joe go? Oh, you know what? He's probably far enough away to we don't have to worry about him. Okay. Oh, man, there's another bear. All right, let's just see what happens. Oh, there is! Oh, bless you! Whoever it was that told me to dig down. Bless you, laddie. I love you, man. This is awesome. All right, this makes getting titanium way better. So it does. I don't know why in the world I didn't assume, you know, that it works the way it does with all the other wars, but it certainly does. Oh, this is so awesome. All right. All right, so yeah, I don't remember who it was that told me that off the top of my head, but dude, bro hugs, serious bro hugs. You uh, have just made my day. In fact, you've made my day so much that I'm actually going to uh, tab out for a second and find out who it was so I can give you serious kudos. I'll be right back. All right, it was actually two people. It was Joseph Maslowski and Paul Moffat. If I did not pronounce your guys' names properly, please forgive me. But both of you guys just rock. Thank you so much for pointing that out to me. I just, you know, old guy brain and all that. But it didn't even occur to me that there'd be titanium right underneath there. But there is. My goodness. Look at this, you guys. We're just going to dig all the way down to bedrock because why not? <laughs> this is awesome. Actually, here, hold on. Uh, we need to, uh, we need this. And we need this. This is fantastic, man. Oh shit. That's not fantastic. I've got a bad feeling about this. Get out of here. Yeah, that that could create a little bit of a problem for us, huh? Alright. It's even a little iron too. Okay, we don't really need iron, we want the titanium. I mean we need iron too, but here for the titanium. This is so great. Oh man, I'm gonna have to watch my weight. That's what my doctor says too. Uh, let's take a steroid. Okay. Right, I don't. Here's more. Yeah, Paul and Joseph, you guys, man, you both made my day. You guys rock. We'll have no trouble at all getting our horde base upgraded to titanium. Did I just hear another screamer? Okay, how much do we have now? We already have 233. Okay. Um. So, let's see. That's all iron. Incoming enemies. Where? For where, 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 where? I don't see any incoming enemies. You're lying to me, Roberta. But you know what you can do for me, Roberta? You can carry some heavy ore. Uh, here, you take that, take that, take that, take that, that. This, this, this. And that's too much for you. Here, let's take the lead back from you. Okay, that's... Oh, shit. That's about all you can carry. Hey! Knock that off, man. You scared me. Okay. Now, we need to be able to get back out of here. Uh, maybe what we should do is use the pick so we're not wearing down our Valkyrie drill and calling in more screamies. Oh, that was great, man. That was really good. Okay, let's go find another one. <laughs> We're going to get all the titanium. Okay, yeah, let's go go this way. I want to I want to hit 
you know, one or two more while we still have the the uh, Rockbusters buff. Get the hell out of here, buzzard. All right, you're pissing me off. Have a pick. Have a pick in your face. Okay, we need more more nodes, man. Bring it on. Bring on the nodes. If you guys spot one, let me know. Oh wait, I guess that won't I've work. Got a bad feeling about this. You've probably spotted three that I've already driven by, huh? Alright, where the heck are they at? Woohoo! There's one. Hey, picks work pretty good killing buzzards. Are we good? All right. Let's hit this thing. Uh, let's take another coffee. Bears make me a little bit nervous. I'm going to also drop off a few things in here. Uh, so basically everything here. Okay. We're going to get attacked by something. I just know it. So, uh, well, okay. It's already happening. Hey! Get out of here. Anybody else? Uh, what's up there? That's a bear, but he's probably far enough away to worry, need to worry about it. I'm in titanium heaven, you guys. Hey, get out of here. If you guys are going to show up, you can at least help me mine. You're good for nothings. Alright. Are we good? I hear something somewhere. Okay. iron. There's more titanium. There we go. How much gas do I have? Oh, we got lots of gas. We're going to run out of encumbrance before we'll run out of gas. Oh man, you know what? I should have unloaded Roberta into the motorcycle too. I think I heard a screamer. Master, we are not alone. Okay. We're not alone. Come on, screamy. Come say hi to Papa. Come say hello to my little friend. Okay. She did. Didn't particularly appreciate that view either, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. You ever feel like sometimes you just sort of kind of dig yourself into a hole? Okay, is there any more? How much titanium do we have? We have 220 more. That's really good. Um, I'm sure there's more down here, but I don't see anything more that's, that's visible. So, let's see. We're just going to angle dig ourselves out this way. I don't want to use the Valkyrie because I want to save it for another node. But you know what we need to be doing is using a shovel here.
for all the sand. Okay, now we're up into the the ruined stone. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Snake. Snakey poo. Not as bad as he has. Uh, I guess we should hit these buzzards too. I left them. Oh crap! I left them last time just because I didn't want to load up on too much stuff. But you know, we we can use their their giblets to make uh, hobo stews. Oh crap! Ouch! Okay, let's go this way. All right, let's see. We still have two minutes and 12 seconds left on Rockbuster, so let's see if we can find one more deposit here. Go away, buzzard. You're just kind of a royal pain in the ass, you know that? All right, come on, titanium deposit. I know you're out there. There's uh, two, actually. Nice. All right. Really lagging. You can go down any time now. You too. Both of you guys just suck. So do you, Arlene. You don't have much time left. Get out of here. Big mama? Incoming enemies. Prepare for combat. Have some big buckshot. Right in your noggin. Okay. Uh here. Uh come over here, Roberta the robotic drone. Okay, give me all your giblets. Wait. Do robotic drones have giblets? Are you coming over here? No, stay there. We don't have time for this. All right. Got to make sure we don't load the... Ooh. Yeah, we got to be careful of that, too. But I think we're okay on the motorcycle. That guy's going to be a problem. So we just need to eliminate him. He did. We have 20 seconds left. Oh, crap. Okay, where's the Valkyrie? Spider. Ball sack. Dog. Guys, don't you know that I have no more time left on my... Rockbusters? Come on, man. Give a guy a break. Okay, where were we digging now? These, I, I lost my place. Uh, our motorcycle's there. All right, right here is one spot. Uh, you know what? Screw it. We can get more Rockbusters. Let's just burn the last one. I'd rather get more titanium right now. Have picked up something. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> oh no, it was a bear! Oh, oh crap! It was a bear, you guys! We got killed by a bear. <sighs> that sucks. Alright. Damn it, Jim. We got so much titanium though, so you know what? I'm okay with it. Well, no, actually I'm not okay with it. It really sucks, but it happened. We can't do anything about it, but go back and get our shit. Excuse me. Uh, all right, let's see. We've done this before. We're gonna need one of you. We're gonna need one of you. We are gonna need 
Uh, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Quit rubbing it in. And we're gonna need you, and you, and you, and did we get pants and boots, maybe? Yeah, we'll just take those boots. I don't care. Uh, do we get your gloves? Yeah, we'll take the military gloves. Oh, man, that sucks. Okay. So, we should have armor. Uh, we don't have any clothing, but we got armor. So, that's good enough for now. Okay, weapons. Um, we're going to need to take with us... Let's take this AU... Well, no, let's take the FAR. And some 5.56s. And... Uh, 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 what else? What else do we want to take? We should probably take a sledgehammer with us so we have melee. We'll take that sledge. And a little friend, but I don't think we... Uh, do we have any 762s here at the base? I don't know if we do. Let's look. Yeah, we do. Okay, we'll take it. those. We'll take some 5.56s five, uh, for those two. Whoops. Sorry. Okay. Those are already both loaded. Oh, why are we so heavy? Oh. Because... <laughs> because I picked all this stuff up. Not meaning to. Uh, okay. Let's drink some of this. And we're good on hydration and food and all that kind of stuff. Um, we'll take some pain pills and a steroid if we need it. And, um, I guess that's all we got really to take there. If we do take a steroid, we're going to want some beverage, so we'll take a few more of those. Okay, I think we're good to head back out and get our stuff. Um, yeah, we got a light on here. All right, let's go. It happens, man. It happens. I didn't know that was a bear. I thought it was just a normal Zeke um, because, you know, he didn't growl or anything until after he killed me. Mini bike. Yeah. All right. We haven't been on the mini bike since the last time I was killed. Uh, where are we going? We're going that direction. Okay. We can cut through here. Stupid zombie bears. Hate them. I probably safe to say they're the most dangerous zombie in this game. With maybe the exception of a demolisher, but you don't usually run into those unless it's Horde Night anyway. So maybe the most dangerous non Horde zombie in the game. Zombie bears. I've probably been killed by them more than any any other zombie in this series. They're bastards. Okay, we have to be a little more careful navigating with this because... I don't know, does this break cinder blocks? Oh, it does. Okay. Well, it does break cinder blocks. All right. full armor and best gear and all that. Uh, so we need to find a stone so we can get him the hell out of here. Uh, are there not any loose stones? There's, there's gotta be loose stones around here. I don't think I can get stones with a sledge, can I? Oh, I can. Okay, good. Alright, dude. Bugger off. GTFO.
crap, now I'm encumbered. Cut it out. Leave me alone. Uh, Roberta, I need your help. Yeah, you take all that there. And maybe take some of this. I need to get all my stuff back on. Okay, this goes back into here. That goes into there. This goes into here. Um. Uh, no. This goes here and my crossbow goes in here. Okay, so I think that gets our toolbar reset. Let's get our armor back on. Our good armor. And uh, I guess we can wear that. Okay, are we back in business now? Looks like it. Looks like we are. Okay. All right, now, where is uh, my motorcycle's here? And the mini bike is over here. Okay, I think we're <laughs> back in the land of the living-ish. Okay, we gotta give, we're, we're too heavy now for the bike. So, oh, she's got lots of room. Okay, so what's what's really heavy in here? Um, this probably. 75, let's give her this and this. That can go down there. All that armor, she can take this little friend and those stones. All right, is that enough for me to get back home? It is. All right, guys, I think we're done messing around. Ooh, there's some more titanium. Uh, getting titanium out here. But yeah, we, we picked up a nice little batch of the stuff for sure. Bears are worrying me, man. What? What hit me? I think maybe that... Oh, crap, there's a bear right there. Time to go. All right, that's enough. If we see another one on the way back, I'll hit it, but... The good news is... Oh, shit! Don't go down there. Oh, gee. Why do you do these things to yourself? <laughs> crap. It's not like I can just pick the bike up and carry it out. It's, like, totally loaded. Um, anyway, what I was saying was... It's a good thing that we... know now that we can get titanium underneath the deposits. It's a really good thing. Come on, you can do it. You got this. Come on, baby. No, no, you got it. Come on. There you go. We got it. Okay, cool. Everything's good. Um, so anyway, holy crap. 55 minutes have already gone by in this episode. We just started. What in the world? What's what's the world come to, man? All right, well, we need to get, we're going to have to, I'm going to have to let you go. Ooh, there's another deposit. You know what? Let's actually leave that there because if I take it now and never come back this way again, I won't know that it was there. So let's just take back what we currently have. Uh, which is a nice little supply, and I'm going to turn probably darn near all of that into titanium plates. And uh, that'll that'll get our horde base uh, up upgraded significantly further than, you know, what it currently is. Uh, so anyway, yeah, let's talk about the next episode. The next episode, I think, what day is it? It is 90. Uh, nine, horde is 91, right? Yeah, so Horde is tomorrow, in-game day tomorrow. Uh, but woohoo! But other than, you know, like I said, just doing a little bit more upgrading, uh, we're pretty much good to go uh, for the Horde Knight. So, no. Is it 91 or 93? I don't know. We'll figure it out. I think it's 93, isn't it? Uh, no, it's 91. It is 91. Yeah, okay. Because 84 was the last Horde Knight. Okay, so yeah, we will... Uh, Probably in the next episode, let's go Let's go hit a POI. We haven't hit a POI in a while. Maybe do a quest or two. And then the next episode after that will probably be the Horde Knight. So that is the plan. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if I can figure out where my house is, it's only the tallest building in the city. I mean, you know. <laughs> anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. You know what, dude? Come here. Let me pick your nose. There you go. See ya. Bye-bye.